Well, that wasn't too hard. Can't we just leave this one here? No, don't be stupid. We need to get him in the boot. He weighs a ton. Please, Sandra, just take his feet. He doesn't have any feet, Derek. You cut them off. Then take his stumps. I'm not grabbing an obese man's stumps. You should have thought about that before you chopped them off. You are so aggressive and over the top at times. Whatever possessed you to want to chop his feet off anyway? So he couldn't run away? Couldn't run away even if he tried. Well, it's too late now, Sandra. The man has no feet. Just take his hands if it's such a problem for you, and I'll take his stumps. On three, OK? One, two, three. Heavy. What have I told you about swearing in front of me? Sandra, not now. Why is it? You always pick the heavy ones. This is the third one this year. I mean, if you'd have just gone with the one I wanted to do, we wouldn't have had this problem. You could have just slung her over your shoulder and the bloody job would have been done. Sandra, I'm not disposing of someone just because you like their shoes. That's ridiculous. It was her bag I was after. Well, that is still no reason to dispose of someone, is it, Sandra? It didn't suit her. We need to get this body out of here in a hurry as we have our neighbours coming over at 8 o'clock this evening. Therefore, we need to get rid of this footless fucker! done yourselves on this meal. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Sandra won't even allow me to lay the table. Shall we vacate to the garden for a cigarette, John? I do wish you'd give up, Derek. It's awfully bad for you. It makes your lungs bleed and your fingers turn yellow. Do you not read the health cautions on the packet? Is that what they are? Shall we, John? Leave the women to do their thing. We've tried gagging, s and role-play, fetish stuff. We've tried everything we can think of to make him hard. Have you tried the herbal Viagra stuff? Yep. Nothing. Just made him go to the toilet a lot. Oh. I don't know what else to do. It's been far too long. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with all this. I take it you and Derek are still at it. Well, I'd rather not discuss that with you, to be honest, Caroline. Oh, go on. I've just told you that John gags me, for heaven's sake. My goodness. Look at that thing. That's disgusting. Where did you get that from? Awfully lifelike. A little unnerving, actually. Oh, that old thing. It's, um... Sandra picked it up for his sister's dog. I know what it is. Where now did you get it from? I'm not sure. Novelty sharp. I can see it in Derek's face. I can see the way he looks at women, that he's a highly sexed man. Maybe we could swing. I'm sure that would do it. I wouldn't mind a good old pounding from your Derek. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my Derek. You've um, been gardening recently then? No. Didn't I hear you digging? I saw some potholes at the bottom of the garden. And... I'm sure I heard you digging earlier. Ah, potholes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was going to offer you some assistance, you know, especially with my new tools and everything. Then Caroline said, um, well, not to impose. <laughs> You're not burying people at the bottom of the garden, are you, Derek? <laughs> what was that? What was what, John? Did you not hear that? Hear what? I thought I heard a moan or a sigh of some sort. How did you not hear that? Probably just a fox or something, John. There it is again. It's coming from the back of your garden. 
I think I can see someone. John. Yes. Swinging's out of the question. We have a very healthy relationship, thanks for asking. What on earth do you mean by the way he looks at women? Well, just looking. I wasn't trying to make anything off it. There's no need to get jealous, Sandra. I was merely pointing out that your Derek is a highly sexed man. That's all. husband by the feet. I don't exactly want her walking out at this precise moment in time, do I? She's dead. Sandra, why did you... Why, Sandra, why did I have to kill her? I had my reasons, Derek. Why? Oh, I don't want to talk about it now, Derek. Fine. Will you do me the favour of getting the butcher's knife out of the knife drawer? Do we have to chop them up? It just becomes so messy. I'm only chopping their feet off. Well, there are other ways of preventing them from running away, Derek. Yes, Sandra. Now, can you go and get me the knife? Please. Please. Derek! Derek! She's got away! Every single fucker is having their feet chopped off. 